DJ Pat, Patrick Clark. Yeah. I, 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 I was coming out the courtroom. I was paying tickets. Yeah, I had to pay some tickets a day, so I was coming out the courtroom. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, I'm telling everybody, I'm going to be down in Houston, Texas, till I get justice for takeoff, and I've been parking my car, and uh, I got some tickets. So I was going up there to take care of my tickets, you know what I'm saying? And uh, on my way down, somebody say, you know, DJ Pat just went to court today. And I say, he went to court today. He's still trying to get that bond reduced. So what happened? <clears throat> yeah, your lawyer. So your lawyer told you, cause you went from two million to a million. Yeah, yeah, the flight risk. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I read that. Yeah, so you, okay. So you trying to get reduced from a million to 300,000. Okay, so you went to court today. Okay, you got up early this morning. You took a shower, ate you a hot honey bun. Okay, laid down, got up. Yeah, I see you, boy. I see you. Yeah, boy, you got the best looking clothes on. I see you, man. Yeah, them, them the best clothes you got on right there. Yeah, you tired of wearing them. Hey, I be tired of wearing them too. So you went to court and what happened? You thought you was gonna have a good chance, right? Yeah, I, I, I can imagine. Yeah. You thought you was gonna have a good chance of getting a reduced bond. Yeah, I know, man. Take off mama thought she was gonna have a good chance of seeing her son again after he left Houston, Texas. But she had to come to Houston and identify the body that you're responsible for. You don't want to talk about that. Well, how you think you wind up in jail, sucker? You think it's just a coincidence? You just want to get out of it. You tired of... I know you tired of being in here, but that's your fault. So what happened when you went to court? They still saying you a flight risk? Yeah, every... Your mama and your daddy say you was going to be home for New Year's. They went and bought all kind of celebration toys for you. I'm about them little poppers, them... Them little poppers. They went and bought firecrackers and all that because they told you you was going to be out of jail. You was going to get... And your daddy already got the 300000 He already got that money to put up. Oh, so. Oh, so it was said. It was said that you was going to get out of jail. That's what you was banking on was to get that reduced bond. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. Listen, it don't work that way. No, okay, keep keep going. I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. Yeah, you was in court and what the judge said? He said you still a flight risk. Man, don't nobody want to... You, yes, you... Boy, Listen, you had that passport because you was trying to leave. Yes, you, why you had the money in the bag? You know you had that money in the bag and you had the passport. You was trying to leave the country. You had all that money. Yeah, and they know that. That's why they made you a flight risk. So when they told you, yeah, cause I, I, everybody knew you was going to court today. Yeah. So when they said that they weren't going to release, they weren't going to reduce that bond past a million dollars, meaning your family got to come up with at least $150,000. And now, since they don't win in the truck and they say that that was the murder weapon in the truck. Yeah. And you playing self-defense. 
You think they really gonna let you out now? They didn't have no right to go in your truck. You didn't give them probable cause to go in your, but don't nobody care. Boy, you in jail behind bars. Yeah. Listen, I just come down here to pay my tickets. Yeah, I knew you was going to court today, but I didn't think I was going to bump into you. Man, I bet you everybody at home on social media right now, Googling DJ Pat Patrick Clark Bun here today. And everybody going to see, man, yeah, I ain't got to tell. They going to see it. They going to see it today. You didn't get that bun reduction. I am so happy. Pray for you. Boy, I wouldn't pray for you. Even if you ask me to pray for you, I, I dare you insult me by telling me to pray for one of the people that's responsible for take off tomorrow. Why Jay Prince ain't nobody allegedly try to give your family the money? They don't want to get involved. Mm -hmm. See, they don't want cash. These people want somebody to put their house up. I be, boy, I tell you what, DJ Pat, Patrick Clark, didn't get that bond reduction. I, man, say, boy, I'm so happy. This made my day. Yeah, I finna go call take off mama right now. Don't tell her. Man, this is the best news. She, yeah, I bet you she going into the New Year's happy knowing you ain't coming home. You gonna have to be in now. New Year's. Yeah. You know Valentine's Day coming up. You know they take them honey buns and cut them in the hearts. Mm-hmm. Put that red Kool-Aid on that icing. Yeah, so when they eat it, that red Kool-Aid get... <laughs> you don't want to hear about that. You ain't like that. Well, it don't matter what you like. Because where you at right now, you ain't got no legs to stand on. You ain't got no voice. You ain't got no arms. You can't reach and touch nothing right now. And you just getting off in there so you know some of them bugs. You already had you already had two fights. Are you serious? What happened? <laughs> I told you. I told you what was gonna happen. Yeah, I told you. That honey bun gang ain't no joke. They putting bubble gum on your bed now. You, you don't know why they put bubble gum on your bed. You don't know. See when they get you the bubble gum when you chew it. It make your jaws strong. It make your jaws real strong. So when you in there and they try to get that honey bun and you don't want that honey bun, they make you get on your knees and fix it. In order for you to fix it, you got to have strong jaws. You need a strong jawline. That's why they give you that bubble gum so your jaws can be strong and it make it easier when you fixing it and you down on your knees and when you chewing meat, it make it easier to swallow. Yeah, I'm tripping. No, I ain't tripping. You the one in here eating bubble gum. I ain't. I ain't, I ain't no bubble gum. I don't. I don't like bubble gum. Yeah, I already know. Cause bubble gum give you strong jaws, and I like weak jaws. I like my jaws to be weak. Yeah, I don't like them strong jaws like you. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, look like your jaw line getting strong. Okay. Yeah, you okay? Well, say, look here, man. I just came up here to pay my tickets. I knew you was going court today. I knew you were trying to get that bun reduction, but I didn't think I was going to bump into you. Yeah, oh, oh, see, let me go and go. I see they coming over here. Yeah, I see, yeah, they got, you, they got you chained up to the bench, huh? Yeah, man, boy, you done got yourself in some trouble, man. All right, Pat, man, I'll holler at you. <laughs> what? You don't know what you're going to do? Hey, man. Do your time. Yeah. The same time takeoff got to do now. Since he's not on this earth, he got to do his time in heaven. And you got to do your time on earth as the time he doing in heaven. No. He... Man, don't nobody. Listen. Look, man. I'm going to let you go because they <laughs> ain't no telling when they going to let you come back and try to get reduced time again. Boy, you is in trouble.